This is my attempt to review the Nespresso U D50 19 bar automatic espresso machine. And so far I absolutely love it. Look how small it is, very streamlined, minimum controls, and it really makes good espresso. It has an adjustable water tank. It slides from one side or the other, whichever you prefer. I kind of like it in the back. It keeps the thin look of it. And obviously need to rinse out the tank. And add some water. And then to turn the unit on, you can either push this back, the slider, or you can press one of the touch controls. This first one is the Lungo, which is the largest setting, 110 ml, 3.7 ounces. The center one is espresso setting, 40 ml, 1.35 ounces. And then the smallest one is the Ristretto, 25 ml, 0.84 ounces. And it takes about 25 seconds to warm it up. Meanwhile, let's do the automatic foam. This comes in a bundle with the Arachino frother, which also works really well. This is the first time I've ever used one of these. And it has two settings. The lower one, maximum fill level, is for the heated milk. And then the upper one is if you want, don't just have the cold milk. So let's try the heated setting. Just put that on with the open the front. And if you just press it lightly, it's to heat the milk. If you keep it pressed down, it'll be green for the cold milk, but we'll just do the heated. Meanwhile, this machine is heated up. So let's do a run through with the Restrato setting. And just to, to activate it, you just push this back and forward. And that's what you get for the Restrato setting. Okay. Now let's make use one of these capsules. They give you 16 capsules, um, one of each of, of the, the kind they offer. And this comes with a very helpful chart. You can also go on the Nespresso.com site and it gives you details of each one, the intensity, the flavors. And it's nice having one of each because you can test them all. All right, let's try making a proper espresso this little capsule in, drop it in, close it, and that's it. Oops, I forgot to change the setting. Okay. And that's it. And it drops the capsule right into the bottom there. See, this pulls out, it's magnetized, which I also like. It just pushes on, it takes off if you want to use a larger cup. And this pulls out, and that's where the capsules drop into. It also has an overflow tray, which every maybe three or four you need to empty. I don't exactly know why it does that, but it's pretty easy to do. And that could be a problem if you forgot about it. Okay, so if you want to make a larger cappuccino type drink, which I made there, then you just take that off, put this down, and I have enough water there. And then again, you just open this up, drop one in, and this, will, this one will release the 3.7 ounces, so it makes quite a bit more. These espresso mugs also accommodated that you can't put as much of the froth in.
Okay, we can take our milk. Another thing I want to mention that this automatically goes off after nine minutes of non-use, but you can automatically turn it off too by just holding, pressing any of the touch controls for three seconds, and then it's off. It also can be programmed to stay on up to 30 minutes. Um, it tells you in the manual it's real easy to do. And that's about it. Enjoy. Bye.